Yes, uh, on your website, Mike Schoen for Congress, it, uh, you talk about the 9-11 conspiracy, and there's also a video of the uh, bringing the co-conspirators of 9-11 to justice, and I'd like for you to talk about the, the co-conspirators of 9-11. Okay, it's too far out an issue to suggest to people that there was a conspiracy in 9-11. Just let me tell you this, the largest crime against human life in the history of this country, the largest crime against property in the, hu in the history of this country over nine years. We not only have not tried a co-conspirator, we haven't charged one. Not only that, you have the Republican Party, and I can name them, I wrote an article about it, it's on the web right now, working to do everything they can to make sure there's no trial of any alleged co-conspirators in the American criminal justice system. And I, I used to do criminal law, I was a deputy prosecuting attorney. The reason is that a criminal defense attorney is gonna show that there are other co-conspirators and those involved, what's called intelligence organizations and people in our government don't want you to know about that. And uh, I'm right on that and I'll put money on it. To anyone here today, how you doing? Great. Thomas Costanzo. Yeah, we're, uh, we came to your office on... I'm, I'm Cecil Slater. I see somehow you grew up. Do you remember? I'm running for the United States for two reasons. Okay. Certainly concerned about the future of our state. 500,000 back loans. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Okay, good. We've had a state person back in Washington, D.C. for three decades. We went to your office about when uh, the 9-11 conference, we had 1,280 people come to your uh, 1,280 architects and engineers disputing the what happened with at 9 and 11, and I would like to get your feedback on that. Yes. Good, 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 good. Sure. You have been in Congress 19 years. Yes, I have. Yeah. And yet you didn't work for the least vulnerable. For the as you said that you you think that the least vulnerable should have some help. You have not been taking care have a of the social security. I might want to ask Why? Ed Pastor the question. Why? No, I, I want to know. Well, why. I have been. I mean, I, you I have been. You haven't done anything for okay. social security, okay. All right. including, I'm sure your mom gets a, a yes, check. Yes, she does. Yes, she and not does. a very big one. Okay. So, All right. So, what's happening with you? What are you doing? Well, we're going to continue social security and make sure you get the check and uh, try to. Yeah, secure. five dollars a month? No, no, no. So it's well, not $5 it's really a month. gotten we very gotten small. Money. No, it's it's uh, well, hasn't gotten that small. Well, the work we have put in yeah. to that not has system. gotten that small. That that well, I would no, it's that not I would small because not $5. You, you make sure that you get your raise every year. Okay, all right. You're Thank always you. doing that. Look after yes. yourself first. Yes. How is that? Right. How, are you? How are you? Good. Um, I just want to, if whoever wins, yeah. and obviously mm -hmm. I'm supporting you. Sure, it. good. But if you do win, right. it would really be great if you could give more support to the Catholic vote. I received okay. uh, right. a document. And had you total zeros yes. in any Catholic position, and I, well, I would like I, to think you're you're a Roman Catholic or a Catholic like I am. Well, I, I would tell you that uh, at least the people who work with uh, the Catholic charities and the Catholic social uh, work uh, in the past they have come to visit me, and uh, they have told me where the the Catholic social program. In immigration or hunger but I'm or that. talking about specifics like embryonic stem cells. Yes, and right. Like well, that. I, well, I, uh, there, there, I do differ, and I, and I have to tell you that, uh, uh, in, in all honesty, we do differ. But uh, I do support the, the Catholic agenda as it deals with uh, issues that are also are equally important in fighting poverty and hunger and, and so. Well, I can respect uh, that. It's so, just I, you know, okay. the all unborn. Right. I would like you to give more attention. Okay. All right. We well, thank you. Okay. Oh, good. Well, thank you. Because we do want representation. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And I, have a good evening. You, you still haven't answered my question about the 1,280 architects and engineers who have contested the official story of 9/11. What is your position on 1,280 architects and engineers? On the trip. <laughs> questioning the official story of 9/11. So what's your position on that? Which way? Ah, so you won't even answer the question. So obviously you know that 9-11 was an inside job then, right? You know it. You won't even answer the question. What, why are 1,280 architects and engineers questioning 9-11? We came to your office 
and you won't even answer us. Is that the form of representative government that you wish to expose? Where are we at? There we go. Ed Pastor running away from a question about 1,280 architects and engineers contesting the official story of 9-11. There we go. Running away. That's how you run away, folks. We're getting in a car. And we're yeah, yeah, we're running away. Run away. Keep on running away. Keep on running. It almost tripped me out when I was walking. Well, that's because you got in front of me. Run away. Keep on running. Ha <laughs> ha.